The name of our group is Nkwa Umwada of Amwege Land. For those of you that are new, this group was not founded by the ancestral maidens of Amwege. Make no mistake about it. This group was founded by my humble self with the help of my father. The aim is to bring about the beauty, the hard work, the virtue, the high moral value of every girl child, every maiden in this village. From every household that each of us represents, my fellow maidens, with or without Adeje Jemba, we, the maidens of America, can lead ourselves. Yes. yes. That Adeje Jemba left the way she did must not be the reason for us to stop our training so fast. We must continue. We must continue under your supervision or what? Oh, there are what is wrong with Are you trying to impose yourself as our leader? Why are you like this? Why should I now? Why are you so full of mischief? Why are you putting words into my mouth? See, all these arguments won't help us. You know what, Odera? We are still doing our training, eh? If you want to live like Adeja Jemba, you are free to go. Hey, go and continue. Exactly. Odera, please, please, leave please, please, please leave us. Please, please, continue. Continue. please, 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 please. please. Go now. Yeah, Michigan, I'm, I'm not leaving. Please, 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 please. Whether you like it or not, Adeja Jemba Yes. It's okay. It's okay. It's okay. The hero has gone. The hero has passed on. Oh, what are you talking about? 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 Oh, what are you Where's my brother? What happened to my 
Nobody seems to be saying a thing concerning my father's burial. Or was that Faust's burial all he will be getting? Is that the last stage of the burial? There are certain issues women are not supposed to ask questions about. Mother, I cannot believe you will say that. This issue concerns the traditional funeral rites of your late husband. A man who happens to be one of the greatest men in Amweke land. And that we have your uncle to worry about that. He's the head of the family. Well, can he at least share? Can he let us in on his plans? You mean we should ask him? Of course we should ask him. We need to be sure at least he's doing something. Mother, this issue is starting to worry me so much it is giving me sleepless nights. Ada, you, you speak the truth. But I, I don't think it's wise for us to ask your uncle. If there's anything, he should be the one to come forward and tell us what he's planning. And what if he doesn't come forward? How long are we going to sit and wait endlessly? No, we have to put Father's spirit at rest. We have to do something. I hate to be bothered. You know I hate to be bothered. And you think I am not? Hmm? It's okay. Hmm? Don't worry, things will be all right. Let me go. It's okay. I don't want to say that you're scaring me. But that is exactly what you're doing. What is the problem? Ada, my ears are blocked from what I'm hearing. <laughs> if your ears are blocked, then needless talking to you. What is the problem? Speak. My father came back last night with the ugly news. Ugly news? Mm -hmm. What news is that? Please tell me this is one of your numerous jokes. Joke? How can I joke with an issue like this? I am very serious, Ada. My father told me that it was your uncle that brought the matter to the elders. And he's insisting that it should be done before your father is given a full traditional burial right. What nonsense. Absolute nonsense! No wonder he has been keeping mute on the funeral rites. I see. Hi! How could your uncle be this wicked? Eh? My father even said that when the elders decided to dismiss the matter, your uncle insisted strongly. Hi! Very much for this information. I shall see you soon. You're going.
my man make it. <laughs> As I want. Please, can I have a word? <laughs> yes. What do you want? The truth that is established in Ameke and even beyond <laughs> is that you are beautiful. <laughs> even your enemies are helpless. Yes, they are helpless. Because it has dawned on them that your beauty is from the gods. Hmm? Every man that sees you in Ameke <laughs> will desire to have you because you are the definition of class. Please, 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 Nemeka, spare me the flattery. I don't know, I, could this be the reason why you stopped me? Hey, Biano. Um, you see, I was building my submission, you know. Your kind of girl is not the kind of person any man can stop and start talking to, anyhow. Please, make it snappy. Please, what do you want? If I, Nemeka, should have you as one of my wives. <laughs> will the rivers in Ameke dry? Or will the heavens fall? Ah, Are you working out on me? Odogunagwogo. Look on one. Hi, Ilopotife. Ilopotife, what have I done to you? How could you bring this upon me? Can you say that I killed my own husband? Because of our land. My hands are clean. I can't do what I do. My hands are clean. No. I am not surprised at all. I am not surprised one bit. I have always had my reservations about that man. I have always felt it deep from my guts that he never meant well for us. I lived with my husband all these years. Never was he head of the Wukori and all fault. I couldn't have turned around and said that I killed my own husband. That is because he is a wicked man. But you see that oath, Mama? You will not take it. You will not take an oath. And as for Ilo Putife, by the time I finish with him, he will know that I am a dead chamber and that my father's blood runs through my veins. Ada? Ada, come back here! So, because they call you a day de jemba, and a jemba never, you have suddenly forgotten that you are just an ordinary maiden. Me being a maiden does not answer the question. What nonsense question are you asking? Do not provoke me more than I already am. My father died and you gathered young men and buried him like a chicken. Now you sit calmly in his obi like it's yours. Nothing has been said or done concerning the traditional passage rites. Why? <laughs> well, you want an answer to the question? Okay, I will give you a very straight and simple answer. Your father, my brother, was a very healthy and wealthy man. His death was sudden and questionable. Therefore, our people would want to know the cause of his death before any traditional burial rites are initiated. Does that answer your question? So it's true. 
it is true. It is true that you accuse my mother of having a hand in my father's death. It's true. Look at this rat. I died in the embassy. It is true? Uh, what? Uh, Why? Uh, Have you forgotten what I can do? Uh, Have you? Because, because, uh, uh, now you listen to me, you smelly old man. I know that you are agitating to have my mother taken off for your own good. End it! End it the way you started it! I want you to have the traditional passage rites commence immediately. For your own good. Do what is right. I want Mponani to be sounded for my father. I want the entire villagers to gather here in honor and respect for my late father who was a great man. I want all the traditional passage rites to commence immediately. I want respect to whom respect is due. Be wise. Ilo, 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 ilikao. Ilo, putifu, amalo, nyobo. Devil of a child from the <laughs> uh, This is my reason for this call. It is my personal decision. And I want us to respect this decision. Ilopitife, you should understand that you are no longer children. To be dragged out to be told nonsense. You were the one that brought this matter in the first place. I will agree to support you. What baffles me most is that some of us even pleaded with him to drop the matter. But he promptly refused. Exactly. Exactly. Why must you decide to drop the matter now? We want to know why. Exactly my point, Ichiabudike. I brought up this. And I decided that I want to bring this case to a close. Why is that difficult for you to understand? Ilopitife, why should you play the elders? Who are you, by the way? Who are you? Your late brother's wife must take the oath. Arrangements have been put in place for that. There is no going back about it. Oh. Uh, 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 Ndiwen Bikon, please, I am pleading with you to allow this case go. Please, just drop it. Eh? Please. Why do you want to draw the matter? You should have told us earlier. Huh? You know we are already involved in the matter. Why? Well, you see, my late brother's death really shattered me and I almost lost my senses. I was so pained that I couldn't think straight. I, my late brother and his wife actually lived peacefully together. That woman is a very good woman and I, I don't think we should subject her to this old taking. Eh, please, I plead with you to consider this. Please. Um, my fellow elders, I have been very quiet because I didn't understand Iloputife. I didn't understand what he was driving at. A few days ago, he was seriously agitating for this, insisting that his late brother's wife has hand in his death. We all almost dismissed it. And here he comes. He has made himself clear. We all know how his brother loved him so much. They were true brothers. Mm. Eh? And that could have affected him. The death of his brother could have affected him. So please, let us take him for his ways. Let us take his ways. After all, the family in question is his. So what else? Why must we disturb ourselves? Well, I rest my case. Now, this maiden has finished you. How did she do it? I didn't even know that she starts at home. Ah, ah. Ichiogu, that maiden is an animal. Real animal. But don't worry. I'm lying low out of respect for my late brother. Wait, let me finish his burial rites. Then I will put she and her mother in their rightful place. Now, Unso Bodekwa, you better handle that maiden. Handle her very well. Otherwise, you become a slave in your own family. Don't worry. I got me being uncle. You get a kill, kill, kill like that. Wait and see. Whatever you want to do, you better do it very fast before things get out of hand. Don't worry. Watch 
Waiter Silva for Mongo. A meeting? It has never happened in this community. I say, wait and see. Ah. Yeah? Wait and see. Ada, when he told me that they finally decided to perform the burial rites, I was surprised. <laughs> I thought he was a strong man. They should have gone ahead with their useless plans. Swear an oath indeed. But I still wonder why they changed their minds. Mama, does it matter? What matters right now is that my father, your late husband, will finally get the funeral passage rights he truly deserves. Yes. So that his spirit can at least rest in peace. Exactly. But I promise you one thing, Mother. I am here for you. I will take care of you. Do not be afraid. Ada. <laughs> Jember. I know why this farm is like this. You're going through the mourning period and the traditions of our maker has barred you from weeding your farm. I feel your frustration. I feel your agony. Oh, how I wish I could help. Jim, eh? Wanna? I've been calling you from Obudozi's farm, but you ignored me as if I'm a monkey crying from the palm tree. Please, I am so sorry. I was lost in thought, Biko. Yeah. Where are you going to by this time? I'm going to the farm. You, yeah. of all people, a lazy man like you going to the farm this morning. Oh my God, the man. But, come to think of it though. What are you doing in Oriseki A's farm? Eh? You almost entered the farm. You see, thank your star that his lioness of a daughter was nowhere around here. Because you would have explained to her why you were looking at this farm like this. You almost entered the farm. Hey, when did it become a crime to look at somebody's farm? It's not a crime, oh. <laughs> but you know, the way you were looking at this farmland, you almost entered this farmland, though. It's obvious that you're hungry for what to see this morning. Okay? Hey, hey, hey. Wait, wait, wait. Speaking of which, did you hear what uh, Adeji Demba did to her uncle when he asked her mother to swear? Man. Onya Koko, tell me. It is. See, she almost strangled the one. Eh? Seriously. Hey! Almost. So let's leave here because <laughs> what did the man do? For... Do you need to find out that? Yeah, but at times you That know, girl, I see her new bro. You see her new do here, do here. Sometimes you look at what people do before you begin to judge. Onya, you need to do it. Do when no zubo. I just don't so, know so what, what is wrong make... with her. It's a little different. You and I know we have a tradition in Ameke and in all the lands around here. After the final burial of a man, it is expected that his widow should scrape her hair as part of mourning her late husband. Now, your brother, your late brother Iche Oliseke, has been buried. And Mwanyema, his widow, is still carrying her hair. How do you explain that? Please, Chobach, let us ignore Mwanyema and her wild daughter. Eh? And let's just move on with our lives. No. No. Iche. I am an Iche in this kingdom. That I know. And also the spokesperson for the ruling class. I will not ignore this. Why is it that uh, Wanyema 
has not scraped her hair. And you are relaxed, as if nothing has happened. Why? Hmm. My brother warned me before he died. And I'm very sure that he communicated the same thing to his widow and his daughter. That we should not subject them to the extreme mourning requirements of this land. Especially when it comes to forcing her to scrape her hair. Listen, Chiobaji, I think I want us to respect the wish of the dead. So, Mama, mm -hmm. you mean I am not allowed to go to the farm for the next eight market days? Mm. That's the tradition, my daughter. Mm? The farm is not running away. I hope I can wait till then. <laughs> I know your hands are already itching. Mm -hmm. The traditions must be obeyed. The passage rites of your father have been performed. So we cannot go to the farm within the stated period. You know go? Mama, I've heard you. I'm only worried for the things I planted. Don't worry. I'm sure by now weed has oppressed it all. Especially the land by Obodozier. Don't worry. Must be your friend or Google. Let me see if it's her. Ada! Ada! Why are you calling my name as if you're the one that gave me that name? Have you no respect for your elders? Ada, there is problem. Oh. Problem? What is it? Where is Mama? She's behind. Hey. Get her. Don't tell me. Don't tell me Obina has abandoned you for that median with the big behind. Yay! Yeah, hey. Obina, what? Who is talking of Obina, that fool? Please. Obina cannot abandon me. I will abandon Obina. You know why? Because I'm a hot demand. Hey, it's your good. Mama is here. Ah, Mama. Yes, mother. Welcome. Thank you, Ma. What did you say the problem is? Problem what? What is it, my daughter? It's about the farm you weeded. Which farm is that? Ada? Mama. Did you weed any farm? No. I did not weed any farm. The one close to the stream, after uh, Obodose's farm. I was just talking to Mama about that farm. I was telling her it needs to be weeded. You mean it was not you? It was not me that did it. Right. That cleared it. It has been weeded though. And the elders are going to summon your mother to ask her why she went to the farm before the ending of her money period. Adeje Jemba. Ada, you will not kill me in this village. Ada, why did you do it? Mama, I did not do it. When did you start telling lies? I would like to think of this as one of your numerous rumors. Is this a rumor? Dad, this is not a rumor. I saw it myself on my way to the stream this morning. This will not give the others a reason to come after me. Kedi Femmelo. Come after you for what? Come after you for what? You will simply tell them that it was not you that weeded the farm. Yes. Will the elders punish one for what he or she did not do? Will they? Let me go and see that man. Ada, you will not go there. You will not go there. Please listen to mother. Eh? If you're sure you're not the one that weeded the farm, then the weeding is surrounded in mystery. And you should stay away. I mean, far away from it. And let the mystery resolve itself. Biko. Oh, Biko. I find this hard to believe. No one dares step foot into my farmland. I'm sure nobody wants my trouble. This is very strange. Maybe Adeja Jemba is only denying, just not to upset her mother. She must have weeded the farm, considering how she loves working. Hmm. Who could have done this? I know my daughter. 
if she was the one, she would have owned up. She does not tell lies. <sighs> Who's behind this? Does he or she mean good or bad? Girls, he had no kubezo kuo. Ada said she did not go to that farm. One that shall never end. The least Ada could have done was to accept her mistakes and apologize. She can't deny going to that farm. Simple. Eh? Yeah? Unwe I don't believe you. She said she did not go to that farm. That sounds very ridiculous. Honestly, Akugo, it is unbelievable to me too. Hey. How, could, how could she deny that she did not clear her farm? If she did not, who did it? Imagine. Maybe it was her father's ghost that did it. Nkechi. Nkechi. How can you jump with a dead man's spirit? Are you okay? Ha. That was ridiculous. I don't like it. I know. I know. But what will I say? <laughs> but who did it? If not her. Eh? Maybe it was you. No, to Toma. To Toma. Ah, beautiful maidens of Ameke. To Toma. go to the farm. Me, I believe her. And that is because? Because I see no reason why she should lie about something like that. It's not obvious. Me, I don't believe her. Why would she lie? No, I don't show me. All I know is... I don't show me. I have a lot of things to do. I know, as usual. Hello. What you are trying to tell us is that you were unable to get your late brother's wife to speak the truth. Ha! You couldn't you. She says that neither she nor her daughter widowed the farm. What do you want me to do? Then who did? Do I know? Uh, you will know. Uh, How could these women stand here and lie to us in the face and still expect us to believe them? What do they take us for? And what makes you think these women just told a lie? Young woman, you do not question an elder in that manner. What are you? The man of the house? I speak for my family. Mama, leave me alone. Let me talk to these hopeless men that call themselves elders. Eh? We have just told you we did not quit the farm. Why can't you believe it? What else do you want from us? Do you want to drag us down to the shrine and have us swear an oath? Is that not what you're good at? Adeje Jemba. Ada? Yes. Yes, silly joy for. You are the cause of this. You are the cause. If you had stood by us as family, my mother wouldn't be here answering to nonsense while she mourns her husband. Shut up, young woman. How dare you? And how dare you? And how dare you tell me to shut up? Enough, Paula. It's good you call. Because now I will use this opportunity to warn all of you to stay clear of my family. My father may be dead, but if you think that you will use it as a privilege to swoop in because my father has no male child, then I will have you all know that my father has a son and a daughter. Let's go. Elders, we go. Let's 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 go. Let's
Chinano no. No wonder the other day I saw you staring at that farm lad with so much rat attention. But what I don't understand is why you have to weed another man's land without his consent. Because it was necessary. Besides, she does not go to farm. And the, the weeds were just destroying the plants. Ezibo Madu. Ezibo Madu afo amu ya na bonana. Imani Ezibo afo adu ogimwa. This is the same maiden you cannot withstand the sight of her. I am very sure that she does not even have a clue of your existence. Tell me, why would you help an ingrate who takes everybody for granted? Become? Hmm? Afam. That's a mad jibodugi. This thing they call love. What is it like? Why are we talking about love here? Whereas we should be discussing on how Adeje Jemba would butcher you. Maka, when she finally finds out that you are behind her problems with the elders. You know, it's so confusing to me. Because I don't know if the thing I feel for her is love or something else. Okay, tell me how you feel. Let me see if I can be of any help. Okay. See, one day. It's so confusing to me. I will find myself thinking about her. And each time I see her, or whenever her name is mentioned, something like a butterfly begins to creep through my stomach. Okay, see. I desire to see her face. And Whenever I see her, one day, I lose my senses. Of a truth, this is real love. This is serious love. Chinan no Mog, you are seriously falling in love with this girl. But what I don't understand is why it has to be a DJ Jemba of all maidens in Amweke. Why not her? Because you can't have her. Let, let me tell you something. No man will wish a maiden like her for his enemy left alone himself. Bam! On the contrary, that is why I feel these things for her. I love her hard-working nature. I love her bravery. She is courageous. That is what I want in a woman. Tina no more. Are you sure you're okay? Why would you wish a fighter for a wife? I don't know what you're talking about. All I do know is that I need Adeje Jemba in my life and that is all. Hi. I need her. You know that uh, bravery, courageous, hard-working nature. That's all I need in a woman. Mama! Mama! Hmm? I am off to the farm now. I thought you were going to rest today. You've been working all week. Mama, I will rest when I come back. Come back home, Elio. you. Not after my home.
will swallow my pride and make peace with her and her mother. I think that is the only way to go. If not, I will not be able to execute my plans. I think I have to draw them closer before I strike. After all, my brother had no male child and so his wealth is supposed to be mine. I shall draw them closer and then I will strike. <laughs> I saw Adeje Jemba going out. I hope all is well. Yes. All is well, eh? Yes, all is well. Good. Okay, uh, you know, <laughs> I'm just asking as the man of the house. Okay, no, no, no. You say all is well. What is this evil man up to? Ada. Am I busy? No. Thank you. Ada. Okay. When I was going to Umwezu this morning, I saw you walking on a farmland along that path. Now I have since returned and going to fetch water in the stream. Here you are walking on another farmland. What do you say? Do you have a problem with me working on various farmlands? Oh, don't misunderstand me, Ada. But I am surprised. Do you ever rest? You are a woman and you don't need to work this hard. It is not good for your body. Wanda Bisi, I know where you're coming from. But don't bother about me. Hmm? I am a strong woman. And I have not started complaining. As I was saying, we are one big family. When my late brother was still alive, we all lived in peace. Now, I don't know why we are not living in peace now that he's gone. We should actually be living in peace. Hmm? Nobody is saying anything. I want to believe I'm talking to human beings, not spirits. Um, Nanilo. You've spoken well. It's only in peaceful coexistence that progress comes. Ah, good. So, we should then uh, forget what has happened in the past and then begin to live in peaceful coexistence. Uh, uh, Adeje Jemba, I'm like your father now. Anything you want, need, please don't fail to come and ask me, including you, my young man. Huh? Okay, man. <sighs> my husband, you will live long. I, I am very proud of you for this call. People outside have started laughing at us already, but I thank the gods that you have stood up like a man to correct this. <laughs> uh, thank you very much, Oriako. Omale Chawai. Adeje Jemba. You have been very quiet since I started talking. Don't you have anything to say? Not you know. I have nothing to say other than to thank you for the peaceful talk, as you called it. But as far as I'm concerned, it was you that turned your back on my mother and I immediately my father died. And now you make it sound as if we're the troublemakers. Ah, that it is okay. Forget about that. Of course, I will forget it. 
and we will live as one big family. <laughs> Uncle, can I ask you a question? Uh, <laughs> ask her, go ahead. You said that whenever we need anything, we should come to you. Yes, I mean, as the man of the house now, I think I'm capable enough to uh, provide for everyone's need. <clears throat> I wonder how you intend doing all that. Seeing that you can barely take care of your children, my cousins. Ada! Huh? Ada! What are you driving at? I'm saying that you should worry less about my mother and I. Don't bother adding us to the burden you already have. I can take care of my mother here. I can. <laughs> so, how do you intend to do that? <laughs> have you forgotten who your late brother, my father, was? He left behind enormous wealth. Enough to last another 50 years. I will take care of it. <laughs> hey! Adaije Jemba. Honestly, you will never cease to amaze me. See, women do not control wealth. If your father had a male child, then I wouldn't be saying what I'm saying now. But unfortunately, my late brother did not have that automatically puts me in a position to control the wealth. That was one of the sick tales they told you as a growing boy, just to boost your low self-esteem. Who says women cannot control that? Whoever that said that should come and watch me, Adeje Jemba, do exactly just that. Now, like I said, it's good you called it a peace talk. But if indeed you want peace to reign in this family, do not visit this matter again. My father's wealth belongs to my mother and I. And we will manage it ourselves. We will give you if and when we want to. To not cross boundaries. This obi belongs to my late father. It's not yours. I will come for it at my own time. Ada? Ada? <sighs> Nani, please do not mind her. Eh? You know how our daughter behaves. Eh? Biko, relax. Eh? Papa, relax. please take it easy. Biko. Mother, huh? I see nothing wrong in the way I spoke to Uncle back then. I don't. And that the way you spoke to your uncle was very disrespectful. Mama, I was trying to make a point. And knowing that man very well, if I had not spoken to him the way I did, before you know it, this man would take over what my late father left behind for you and I. You don't seem to know him very well, do you? Your uncle. I know your uncle more than your late father did. Okay. He's very greedy and treacherous. Mm. Except that in all that we do, we should apply wisdom. Exactly. This right here is wisdom. Wisdom for me is facing the enemy squarely. Facing the enemy even before the enemy realizes that you have identified him as an enemy. Can you imagine that man saying that women have no business controlling wealth? But I will show him. I will show him that I, Adeje Jemba, I am a woman with a difference. That whatever it is a man can do, Adeje Jemba will do it even better. Wisdom, my daughter. Wisdom. Please, Mama, do not tell me any other thing about wisdom. I do not want to get upset. There is no way I will allow somebody come in and take over what you and Papa have labored for all these years. It can't happen. 
<laughs> that mortar is very innocent too. His name is not Elokutife. I wonder why you're hitting it so hard. <laughs> Ada. <laughs> You know how to get me out of my moods. <laughs> I only want my daughter to be happy. Things of this world shouldn't get you upset. It shouldn't get you worked up. Hmm? Mama, everything I do, I do for you. I'm the only one you have. If I do not fight for you, if I do not speak out for you, who will? I don't want you to get into troubles. Your fighting spirit is not good for you. You need to overlook some certain things. Mm. Huh? Mama, you make it sound as if I go about fighting like a mad woman. I fight to defend myself and the people I love. But not to worry. I will be fine and I will not get into any trouble. <laughs> I'm just wondering why father wants us to keep pretending as if all is well. What is this one talking about? What are you talking about? What else are we talking about if not Ada's attitude? After she finished insulting father, disgracing him, father still wants us to keep pretending as if all is well with us. Uh -huh. Is there anything wrong with that? All is well, of course. I knew you would say this. Coward. You're just scared of her dad so she will not beat you up. Beat you well, well. Hi. <laughs> Look at this butterfly. Lekwagi. He will know Anom Pama. So you're calling it. How would her dad beat me up when I've not done anything to her? Do you know that it's only butterflies like you that she catches in her net? So butterfly. So now you're calling me a butterfly. What else are you? What else are you if not a butterfly? What There's no else? problem. What else I've heard you. The only thing you know how to do is to fly about looking for where to perch. You called me a butterfly. Uh -huh. Nagamu. Uh -huh. Let me just tell you. Go and get married. Leave this house alone. Is it me? Yes. yes. Hey, you I will do it in this house. Yeah. Oh, yeah. You know that I'm, I'm yes. a senior? Yes. Will you yes. shut up, Babiageli? How dare you speak to your elder sister like that? <sighs> ha. Mama, warn her. I will kill her in this house. She doesn't have any respect for me. Look at this butterfly. My mother, you heard her call me a butterfly. You did not say anything. Now you're telling me to give her. I do not want this nonsense from either of you. We are talking of peace with our extended family, and yet you two will not cease to fight each other. Oh, Gineno! Eh? Opadi, I will deal with you. As for your observation, Obiagele, sit. I do not see anything wrong in what Ada Jejemba said there. Oh, tell her. But mother, she insulted father. Yes, she did. As far as I'm concerned, she did not. She didn't. She only said her mind. Well, the way she said it and walking out on us was wrong. But every other thing she said there was true. How can your father want to take away everything her father worked for? It is wrong! Oh, mother, Uncle Oliseke did not bear any male child. Women are not supposed to go to their father's will. Mm. It's our tradition, and we all know it. That is what they want us to believe. But it doesn't make it right. Listen, we are women. We should not support injustice against women. Because it could be us someday. I don't understand you at all. I don't. Are you supporting father or not? Okay, my dear daughter, Obegeli, mm -hmm. I want to ask you one simple question. And I would yes. like you to give me a simple answer. Straight answer. Okay, let's see. We get married tomorrow. Hmm? And your husband happens to be poor. Then both of you begin to labor and you make money. You became rich, both in lands and crops. Hmm? And in the course of this, you are able to have just one female child. 
and your husband dies. Then your husband's brother's coming to take away everything you and your husband labored for. Just because you are a woman and you have a female child, tell me, my daughter, how will you feel? Oh, oh yeah, answer, answer, butterfly. Answer, mama, answer. Hey, mama, first of all, it will not happen to me. I will get married to a very wealthy man. Very rich man. He said. So many he man's said. house. Mama, huh? are you in support of her fantasy? <laughs> there is nothing wrong in dreaming to have a wealthy husband. And now I'm I'm waiting for your answer. Mama, yes, um, I'll be offended. But um, <laughs> hold it. There are no buts. <laughs> You will not like it. That is exactly how Ade Jejemba and her mother feels in what your father is trying to do to them. No, we have not. Why will she control her father's world and we go empty-handed? Mama, okay, look at Obi. She's complaining that my father sits on Obi. Will a woman control the Obi? Will she? Or will she sit on the Obi? Mama, she should at least share with us. Look at her mouth. She's at least here. As if, if you're in her shoes, you will do the same thing. Don't you know that sharing is different from losing everything? I beg you. Butterfly. Anyway, my daughters, I do not support your father on this one. Mm? And I do not expect any of you, my daughters, to. Mm? I won't, Mama. Because we are women, nobody knows tomorrow. Mm. Eh? Mm. By the way, where is Samadhi? That one, I saw him sneaking into her dad's hut. Hey, now, 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 this boy. Oh, I'm sure he has missed her. Yeah. <sighs> He's the only one who this reunion means the world. He is. <laughs> hey, Mama. I want to go to the Giving Square. What is happening there? I'm meeting there with my friends. Mama, don't tell me you want to allow this butterfly to fly away. Eh? Yeah, butterfly, come and fly to the street. Yeah, no, come and hold me to come and fly to the street. Waka, butterfly, Thank flying you. about. Yes, let's yes. go into fetch. Go to the street by yourself and fetch. I know, Pama. Now here, they got it. Everything. I want to bless you with words before you continue, Bobli Naga. Bless me with words for what? Hmm. <laughs> you are too beautiful. <laughs> See you. Hey! Go now. Chere, who did that? When did this one start? What is the meaning of all this? Why are you now walking around me like a fool? What is the problem? I went to Ezio Willi and I met the man that made the footwear for Chinua the hunter. And they negotiated. Though it will cost me, but it doesn't matter. I want to make you a footwear. That you will be the first maiden in Angmiki that will have a footwear. You don't like you walking with barefoot. You want to make me up again a footwear? <laughs> because I like you. Hey! You are the median in the center of my life. And I want to make you a footwear that befits your person. No. No. Please, come and sit down. Let me take your measurements. Ugona, I should come and sit down. So you take my measurements. Since when? Eh? Chineke, Where did it start? Wait, let me ask you, Ugona. Are you wearing a footwear? You're not. And you want to make me or a footwear? Mama, see, you better mind yourself. You better make your own self a footwear. What thinking about making me or a footwear? Nonsense. Nonsense. Mama, you better mind yourself. Those that refuse to agree will finally agree. And when they agree, they will agree more than those that agreed from the beginning. You see that measurement? 
I must take it. Yes. I'm sure you were playing on the road. No, I wasn't. So where were you then? And what is that in your hands? He gave it to me. So I should give you. The same man that gave you bushmeat for me the other time? Yes, yes. Same man. But I told you to stop collecting gifts from a stranger who would not want to make his face known. Did he tell you that I should not bother coming to greet him this time? Mm, no, he didn't. Good, because you're taking me to him. Let's go. Let us go. Ada, please wait. Ada, please wait. Okay. What if I take you to him and he gets angry with me? Get angry with you for what? He didn't ask me to bring you. What if I take you to him and he gets angry and slaps me? Will you defend me? I'm sure it will not get to that. Let's go. Can you go a day without dusting this yoga? How can? This is my most precious treasure. Mm. You don't know? Didn't I know <laughs> This is his house. Is he the one? No, 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 no. I, 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 I am your friend. Mm, sorry, I am his friend. I'm, 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 I am just a, a visitor. I, 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 I came to visit him. I am not Chinalo Romo. He's not the one, but this is his house. He brought me here to give me the footwear. Where is he then? No, eh? Who? Oh, sorry. You mean um 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 Chinna um, um 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 yes. He, he, he went out. <laughs> he went out. I I am surprised you didn't see him on your way in. No. Well, I came to thank him for the footwear he gave to me as a gift. Okay. No problem, I'll take it. Bye-bye, no? Hey, why did you become mad? Hey. Yeah, come out. My friend, come out. Hey. First time I saw her, eh? I was so scared. I thought she 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 came here to no man. I thought she came to Ebo Ebo Kamiri. No, I sent her a beautiful pair of footwear. Eh, so she said. But what I don't understand is why you ran away at the first sight of her. Now you got out there, you won't understand. You won't understand. Understand what, Chinua? Listen, listen. What do you want me to understand? You like this girl. Why is it that you can't even withstand the sight of her? Yeah. Yeah. See, it's like you're serious about this girl. Uh -huh. I can help you talk to her. Can you pick on, pick on, if you can, please, can you do that for me? Uh, uh, of course, what are friends for? Huh? She's just an ordinary maid. Know, She's just an ordinary maid. You see, I will help you arrange things, okay, okay. but it will cost you. I name one. your price now. Money, you know I'm equal to the task. Uh, I, hey, don't, go ne, I don't want you to see it as if I want to collect money. Hey, go ne, hey, go ne. Ugunna, why do I have this feeling that you want to die before your time? Do you want them to kill you? I don't get it. How do you mean? Who wants to kill me? You may use all this your lies to get other maidens into your little heart. Do not try that with your pretty face daughter. That man will kill you. I mean he will, he will skin you alive. 
Ekuchagum. Are you done? Ekuchagum. Start going. Lawazi. <laughs> what do you mean? Leave now. I said leave. Lawazi. I should leave your house. Bam. Because I'm telling you the home truth. What nonsense truth are you telling me? Yeah, Onyeka. Don't go and tell Obiagili that I did not travel to Eziowele, as I said. I will kill you in my hands. I am not a jobless man. I do not go about discussing side talks. Okay? Do not say I did not warn you. Iloa Potife is an evil man. And I'm evil too. Mm. Yeah. I'm very evil. <laughs> that measurement, I must take it. More like Ria, more like him. What's that doing? Open no man who needs you. Okay, man, no man. In Ania. Oh, yeah. I'm very good. I'm very good. Go on, I'm very good. I'm very good. I'm I hope you have not come here to talk about that I did No! I just made an observation. She has grown into a big woman. And my only concern is how you manage her. I know she's notorious. And must have been giving you a lot of trouble to deal with. Ha. You're not far from the truth though. She's a very big troublemaker. And the one that pains me most is that she brings the name of the family to disrepute. But you should be able to, come to to bring her to order. She's just a mere maiden and supposed to be under her control. I wish I could. But I like one thing about her though. She's very hardworking. She fends for herself. She never disturbs me for anything. And most importantly, she doesn't ask any questions. Hmm. I wonder what you mean by that. Ibe. Leave that story. Let's not talk about women here now. You told me you wanted to see me for something. Now, what is it? It's the loan we talked about the other time. The planting season is almost over, and I'm yet to plant any year. I want to see if you can give me some money so that I can buy some yam seeds. I am beginning to lose my patience on you. You called me out here. And you have managed to say nothing. Are you alright? Uh, yes, please, uh, uh, don't be angry. You see, um, my name is Afam Ifuna. But you can call me Afam if you don't mind. You called me out here just to tell me your name. Eh? Uh, it's not that. Are, are you angry already? You see, if it's because of the name, it would Telling me your name as what? What does your name have to do with Ajeje Jemba? In fact, what is so special about your name? What are you? A great farmer? A great hunter? Owner of land? What exactly or who exactly are you that Ajeje Jemba has to be in on? Kegos Ebosam. It's clear you have nothing Please uh, 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 uh. don't be angry. You see, Ada, I, I wanted to tell you something. In fact, about someone. It's just that I don't know how to bring it before. About something, about someone. Who? Um, uh, he's a friend. He said I should uh, thank you for coming and I should also greet you. You see, he's a very good friend of mine and uh, you would like. Listen to me! For your own good. Do not try this rubbish next time. If you are feeling like a man and you want to try out your abilities, there are other maidens that you can try out that nonsense on. Not with me, Adeje Jemba. If you try it next time, I will crush you. This meeting will end nicely now. But next time, it will not. Also, Finally, I said something. Uh, so, 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 uh, how did it go? Did you tell her? Did she say yes? Uh, you don't expect her to say yes immediately. Okay. But you see what? Hmm? I've already watered the ground. Even in the Okay, good. So, so, what did you tell her? Ah, 
that my wealthy hunter friend is interested in her and wants to make her his wife. No! I said no! That was not it! That, that was not what we agreed on! But that was your plan! You told me yourself that she is your kind of woman, that you want to make her your wife. Yes, but telling her that on the very first day, first time, may ruin my chances. Don't you understand it? You just have a work spoiling things. <laughs> what do you know about women? Hmm? Just go inside and bring me my money. I have just finished the first step. Your 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 own is just money, money. But let me tell you the truth. Money will never be a problem, and has never. Hey, hey, let me tell you the truth. If you do your job well, I may even give you more than you expect. You know, but if there's one thing I do not like, you making mistakes. I don't like mistakes. This is not what we agreed on. Why well, can't make mistakes? Eh? You see what? Everything, Marge, you see everything. You see, I just finished the first step. Step by step, before you know it, she's your wife. Don't do something mad. Just wait. Are you aware you're standing in front of my father's house? What are you doing here? Why did you promise me that you were coming to see me yesterday and you didn't come? If you were asked to explain your mission here, what would you say? What kind of question is that? Eh? The question I'm asking you is important because I don't understand your visit here and your endless threats. Huh? Chikwado. Chikwado, you want a woman and she doesn't want you. Is that a problem? Is it by force? Listen, I don't want you. Ever find you here in my father's house again? Have you heard? Nonsense. <laughs> what is the matter with me? You're walking around here. What is going on here? This is your just ladies. Don't say that. Because I refuse to that person. You did kill me. Who is she? Who is she to walk out on me? Who is she? Who are you to walk into this compound and slash my cousin? Did they not tell you that she is a dead Jejem Vavalogi. Warn her! Warn her! Who is she to walk out on me? Stop listening to me. When did I stop being your mother? Mother? What are you talking about? You know I love and respect you a lot. But you disrespected me today in front of everyone. Do I deserve that kind of treatment from you? Mother. If you are talking about the bitter lesson I taught Chikwado today, then I must have you know that it had nothing to do with you at all. You know how I usually get when somebody is talking to me while I am trying to, to deal with a stupid idiot that crossed paths with me. Listen to me, Ada. What you did today was totally wrong. Your uncle whose daughter was molested was there. He was supposed to do something about the situation. But no, Ada, you jumped at it. Because I love my cousins. I am totally in support of that. But I want you to be wise. Don't you want to get married? Who is going to marry you like this? Mother, I have had suitors in the past, you know that. Suitors? Did I hear you say suitors? The same suitors you fought and they never came back. But be wise. You a woman, please behave like one. Oh, you think you have your uncle support in this? Let me tell you, he's deceiving you. But think about it. And your mother, I can never deceive you. Please. 
think. <laughs> this is unbelievable, Chikwano. You see, no man in his right senses in America would dare to enter the trap of Adeje Jemba. Makoya <laughs> Bogoka. But what I don't understand is how you managed to enter her trap. Eh? My friend, I never knew it would get to that. Hey, I was only trying to teach that snob of her cousin some lessons. Hey, away, Bongokok. She must have taught you a very hard lesson. I wonder what you must have looked like that day. <laughs> oh, oh you, you think it's funny? You think that is funny? No, wait. Wait until it's your turn. That my turn will never come. You see, I will never look for her troubles. I will never. <laughs> oh. Should we even be discussing about this? Eh? Hey, eh? How could we comfortably sit down here like fools and talk about how an ordinary maiden is bullying grown men like us around? <laughs> oh. Did you just call Ada AJ Jemba an ordinary maiden? Uh -huh. Is that not what she is? Or has she suddenly thought? Did I hear anybody say at AJ Jemba? Hey! Are we mad? Hmm? Nobody mentioned your name. In fact, in this discussion, nobody mentioned Ada left alone in KJ Jemba. Uh. Hi. Good. Because it would be very sad to have young men of our making sit idly and gossip away like mere women. Hey! Stop! Okay. Shame on the men of our make. May the gods forbid. Hey, look at men of America Queen Nasia. Look at the world of you shivered at the presence of an ordinary lady. She knew even you in particular. Could not even look at her. Ta Meshigano dear. Anya Bus. Look at this little man. What what is it? You think I did your gem by some Please. Please don't call that name again. What is the matter with you? Wait, wait until you get a dose of a I will never get a dose of a I will never look for a trouble. I will say, As big as you are, you are always going to be a bad You know, as your grandchild, I know you too well. I even know you more than I know my mother. And I know too well that each time you come out here and sit like this, it means something is eating you up. What is it? Organe. My son, something is bothering you. Please, my son, tell me, what is it? Bothering me? Yes. Ah, and then nothing is bothering me. I'm okay. <sighs> my son. You can lie to your mother, not to me. Now how can I lie to you now? Have I lied to you before? The money you gave Afan the other day, which job did Afan do for you? Oh, you mean you saw us? Hmm. I not only saw, I also heard. No, no, then you must have heard wrongly. You must have heard wrongly. My son, do you love that maiden? Which maiden? The one you gave her for money to go and speak to. No, 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 no. I did not give her for money. It's just that it's something I did, you know, I was supposed to. And I, I you ran into your heart. <sighs> no, it's obvious that you know more than enough. You know more than enough. Yes, I know everything. You know I'm always around, observing my only grandson. My son, tell me, why do you love the maiden? Nah. 
No, I, I can't really explain it. I can't, I, I can't explain it. Oh, I, I, I just love her bravery. She's hardworking. She's strong. And I, I, something just tells me that she's the only maiden in this land that I can live happily with. Then go for her. No, how can I go for her when she has an intimidating personality? You are a man. You are the son of your father. No man asks how he should talk or speak to a woman. Yes, no. You are right. I am a man. And I have to do what a man does. Remember, I am waiting to carry your child very, very soon. Yes, I am a man. I, I... My brother, that is my story. I have never had it this hard before. Hey, Ilo Putif is very stingy. But why won't he loan you that small amount of money? Eh? Anyway, that is one of his problems. He is very stingy and greedy. He said he does not have. And uh, from the look of things, I think actually he does not. Said who? He know Putif that I know the way I know the back of my hands. If he had told you this when his brother was alive, maybe I will believe. But ever since his brother died, he has been living on top of his words. Not when the late brother's daughter would not let him. The poor maiden knows nothing about it. What are you talking about? I should be the one telling you this. But it pains my heart that Ilobutife could deny you such a miserable amount of money when he can spare everyone in Ameke mm. double that amount. Mm. Mm -mm. Don't tell me stories. If I don't tell you, how will you know? Now tell me, if I don't tell you something you don't know, how can you know that? As I'm talking to you now one on one, his brother's debtors paid him everything during the burial preparation. On one on one, you know, you know but if he told me this. How much are we talking about here? That's exactly what I don't know. But from what I heard, it's a whole sum of money. But the funniest part of it is that the brother's widow and daughter know nothing about it. No wonder. No wonder he said Adai Jejemba does not ask questions. Now I can understand. This type of irrelevant question you have to ask. As I'm talking to you one on one now, you know put it this money. And at no distant time, the money will start speaking for itself everywhere around him. If you know the exact meaning of that word you just used, friend, then I expect you to know how to treat one. Honestly, if I don't know you very well, I would have said you are coming from Ogolo's place if I went up where you went to have some power. I came to you for a little amount of money. A little amount of money to buy yam seeds. And you blatantly refused to give to me. Where you had the money? Huh? But I told you the truth. I didn't have any money. If I had money, I would have given to you. I didn't have money. I don't understand what you're talking about. If I call you a liar, would that be an insult? Huh? Did you give me? Did you fall accidentally or you just said the purpose? You collected a huge amount of money. A huge amount of money from your late brother's debtors. Such that what I came to you to ask for was just like a spoonful of water from the ocean. Yet you refused to give to me. When you knew that life and food were involved. Uh, 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 let me tell you, those people just want to come between us. Eh? It's the work of our enemies. Let me tell you, there was nothing like that. You are a liar. You are a liar. May the gods judge you. The gods. May God judge you. What are you talking about? Liar like you. You are a bad friend. Ilo, Where is that woman to see us in the body of a man? That can't keep his mouth quiet. Where's that useless abalance? Where are you? Hello, 
are you out of your mind? Why are you shouting? Ranting in front of my house? Oh, is it me you are calling a woman? What did you tell Ipe Malaysia? Do you know you are talking to an idiot asking me this type of irrelevant question? Oh, it's not about the question being irrelevant. I asked you because you are the only one that I told about the Deltos. So who told him? Who told him about the Deltos? I did not put the word of fit to Ibe Malaysia. I did not! You did not. So, who told him? Well, you know how news circulates in America Kingdom. But if you could be sincere to yourself, why should you be bothered? Eh? Why should you be bothered? You look at it. Eh? Must you lend him some money? After all, he's man enough to take care of his problems. Oh, why do you ever think I will be bothered about that lazy fool? What concerns me is how many people have heard about it. As for me, I promised you I will tell no one. And I have not done otherwise. Hey, so who told that fool about his tentos? <laughs> Stingy, greedy man. You denied your brother's family what is rightly theirs and you think you will hide it forever. I pray they eventually find out and you will be forced to bring back the money. Greedy idiots. I just can't wait for that day, you know. What day? The day of the initiation into the masquerade court. So, I hope nobody has been deceiving you concerning that. Deceiving me? Mm. The way you are sounding. It looks like you have been promised that on that day, what you will get will be roasted yams <laughs> and fresh palm oil served to you. And I know they don't go there to eat. Mm. Yeah. So what did you go there to do? No way, I am not telling you that. Hey, so, so, so it's you. So you know you and I are very close. You mm. can tell me, come on. Not this one. My father said men don't discuss masquerade with women. No. <laughs> Mama, you're back early. Mm. Is this all you bought? Then what will I be doing at the market without money? Oh, no. I cannot continue like this. We can't continue like this. Eh? This is not good. We cannot continue to live like this. I cannot provide for us because the harvest is not yet ripe. And yet you will not allow me to go to the debtors and collect our money. I have told you like that. Relax. They will come by themselves. Inugo. No. That was how we used to do it when Papa was alive. But now he is no more. And we cannot continue to be in lack in the midst of plenty. Let us manage with what we have. Please. Quickly go in and prepare food. I'm hungry. We go. Some. The wealthy hunter, the hunter, yeah. when you fell, when you fell, when you 
I thought I saw somebody with this firewood right now. Or are my eyes deceiving me now? I can see. You have been to so many authorities for this same purpose. Oh, yes. With that result. Yes, you are right. I've been everywhere. It's either the champs are not working on her, or that they tell me that since her father died, that her chi has now become very strong. You see, you came highly recommended, and I believe you can do this. She's a very strong woman. The spirits that follow her are very strong. But don't panic. You have arrived at the right place. Well, I understand that no one comes here and goes back the same way. You see, I had money to pay. I won't pay. But I got her dead. Hmm. Oh, go, my girl, and name or no, come on. Oh, roll and no, bunny, jama, fashion, no, be a lano. As a moon, be a lano. Hmm. If I can tell, that which is mightier than the cricket shall be allowed in the home of the cricket. <laughs> Have this. Do exactly as I've told you. You shall come back to thank me. You come back dancing before my shrine. You don't know why they call me Mbese. Mbese. Ada, why not go and come back? 
Eh? My husband may take longer time to come back today. If he has decided not to return to his home, then you better start making arrangements for where I will sleep tonight in your hut. You have refused to tell me why you're looking for my husband. Has he offended you? Or any of your own? Adani. Your wife will confirm to you that I have been here since cock crow. Yes. Nice, yes. I wonder why I did the gentleman will be in my house that early. I will tell you immediately why I am here. My father told me you were owing him some money before he died. Now I have come to collect that money. What do you call this in I thought the money has already been paid. Paid? To whom? And when? At the I'm surprised you're talking like this. How am I talking? Tell me exactly how I am talking. Do not even think about playing a trick on me. What are you about to say now? That you paid my father before he died? Because you know Ada Eje Jemba will not buy into that storyline. See, your uncle looked who was he. He was here before your father's burial rites were finally performed. He was on my neck. He insisted that he needed the money for the burial expenses. I had no option. I ran around and I gave him the money. Are you telling me the truth? I swore my life. See, when I go and ask him. Not just tell me a lie. had a heart attack today when she came. You should have seen her eyes. They were like that of a lion that has seen a prey. Who does not know her? See, I gave you the money because of her. Hey! I don't want her trouble. I thought both of them were in agreement. Eh? Anyway, let's leave you learn her. Please, give me something to eat. I'm hungry because... Okay, don't worry. I'll bring something for you. Mama, he cut the palm heads for you and asked me to bring them to you. Eh? Mm. Ah. Oh, Ada. I was just telling my mother he cut the palm head and asked me to bring them home. They are very big and I want you to come and help me, please. What is he talking about? Who cut what? The same man that gives me gifts to give to you. So, we will talk about that man and his gifts later. Now you have to go. I will see you later. Go, go. the look of your face, I can bet you didn't collect any money. I told you not to bother yours. This is not the right time to visit debtors. I told you. Mama, they have paid. Eh? The debtors, they have paid all that they owe us. <laughs> Ada, you're joking, aren't you? Of course I am joking. But I don't have the money here. I do not have it because Uncle Ilo Putipe has gone ahead of us to collect all the money from the debtors. Is he giving? Ha! Eh? 
What right has he? What right has that man to go and collect money that our debtors owe us on behalf of us? I will so deal with him today if he does not give me the money. Ada, Ada, chill, chill. Relax, relax. But how did you know the debt was paid? Mama, did I not leave this house at Cockrow? I was at their houses. One after the other, I went to their houses. And one by one, they confirmed to me that Uncle Ilo Putife had already collected the money from them. Even before Papa's final funeral rites. According to him, he needed it for expenses. My question is this. How did he know the debtors that are owing us? How did he know? You know the kind of person father was. I am pretty sure he confided in him. The same way he confided in us. Hey! Only second, my husband. Ulisseke, how could you have done this to us? How could you have told your greedy brother that? Mama, I am not going to join you in doing that which you're doing right now. I am going to meet Ilo Putife. The earlier I meet him, the better. Ada, 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 I need you to calm down first. Calm down? Mother, did you just say I should calm down? Just looking at you and talking to you is beginning to make me calm down. And I do not want to calm down. What I need is for my temper to rise. Do you know what this man has done? Do you even still remember the amount of money in question? That money is enough. More than enough to cultivate hectares of farmlands. That money is more than enough to get the prestigious other title for 10 men. That money is more than enough to marry wives for 50 men and and you tell me to calm down? In short, Mama, I will see you later. And then, and then, the end, I will see you later. your uncle is not as simple as you think. Chibuzo, yeah. what you promised me you're going to do for me, you've not done it. Daddy, stop. Hmm? Stop. All the, all, the, all the promises I made to you, I will fulfill, I will fulfill them. Don't worry. <coughs> Ada, what is it and why are you looking at my friend like that? Your friend? You call this? This fool that I usually see messing with all the village girls. Your friend? Are you now one of them, Obiagini? And how does that bother you? Actually, it doesn't. What bothers me is right inside that house. Now go in and call your father out for me. Butterfly, are you still here? Who are you to send me on an errand? What do you think you are? Eh? Who are you? Tell me! With your sisters that you are practicing how to fight now. Huh? Have people finished outside? I have not come here to answer your stupid questions. Go inside right now and bring out the money to me. Bring which money? I understand you helped my mother and I collect the money my late father's debt was with me. Now thank you very much for your kindness. Now go in and bring out the money. Uh, what, what nonsense money what are you talking about? What nonsense money? I am talking about the nonsense money that you went to his various debtors and collected on account of expenses for the final funeral rites. That money has been with you for God knows how long and you have been sitting on it. What are you up to? What kind of a man are you? 
Why does that make you, if not a thief? Huh? On your ship. And if you do not give me that money today, just know that it is not only Saeke that gave back to me. Oh, it is Bichel Moza. Now, what is the problem? Uh, ask her. Ask her. Oh, Adeje Jemba, you have now grown up, eh? You are now a big girl. It was a decade. Bulo Dogu Bichelza. Between you and I, we shall soon know who will be messed up today. Oh, Yoshi! Oh, Yoshi! What is that? You just called your uncle a thief. And I an insult. I don't care. I don't care, Chacha! I will call him whatsoever despicable names my man can conceive in this moment. Go and bring the money. That's all you know how to do. Useless daughter of a useless mother. Yes! Jemba, you have now grown up, eh? You are now a big girl. It was a decade. Bulo Dogu Big Chelsea. Between you and I, we shall soon know who will be messed up today. Oh, Yoshi! Oh, Yoshi! What is that? You just called your uncle a thief. And I an insult. I don't care. I don't care, Chacha! I will call him whatsoever despicable names my man can conceive in this moment. Go and bring the money. That's all you know how to do. Useless daughter of a useless mother. Yes! Yes, I'm not going to do it. 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 I'm not going to